video today. Three tips for a bigger chest. The chesticles. Tip number one, believe it or not, you don't need to bench heavy or hit heavy weights to gain size. And the fact is, the truth is, the whole embarrassing thing with me, the whole embarrassing deal with me is that I, 225 guys, I can only do it like five times max. And there's like guys who's like a buck 50 and they're just repping 225 at like 10 reps or something. So the story of how I got a bigger chest was literally just through volume guys. Back when I was fighting, my coach would make me do 150 clapping push-ups every day or like five days a week. So tip number one is more volume. How many reps total for a specific chest workout? How many reps total for a specific chest routine? And then the next week or two weeks later, add probably 50 more reps of that chest workout. Just 50 more reps as compared to last week for that progressive overload. And that's tip number one guys, adding more volume prior to what you did before. Tip one. All right guys, so tip number two would be that you have to target all three areas of the chest. So basically in simplest terms, I would say there's an upper chest, a middle chest, and a lower chest. If you're doing a regular bench press, you're gonna target the middle. If you do some incline benching, you're gonna target the top. And if you do some dips, you're gonna target the bottom. I would say just for an all around developed chest for size and just for that well balanced chest look, you gotta do some inclines, you gotta do some flat, and you gotta do some declines, which is basically some dips or whatever. But that's tip number two, targeting all sides of it, guys. You can't just be one dimensional and just target just the middle. Another tip that kind of correlates to that tip would be that Instead of just focusing on just compound movements, I would also add in some isolation movements. So compound movements, the regular bench press, which works out more than just one muscle group. It works out your chest and your triceps. Add in some isolation work, which is like some regular cable flies or even some dumbbell flies, guys. So again, don't limit yourself to just one particular exercise. Vary it up a little, just so you can get the whole spectrum of developing that chest. So that is tip number two, friends. All right guys, so tip number three is to make sure that you're eating. And a general rule of thumb, if you're trying to gain mass, build any type of muscle, you wanna be a little bit at a surplus. And when I say surplus, you want your calories to be a little higher than normal. In order for your body to go anabolic and start building, it needs to receive more in terms of food, basically. For example, people who are dieting, like strict, strict dieting, right before contest, right before a show, but they're very depleted in calories, to the point where they're dropping weight. They're getting ripped and their body is at a point where it's not trying to build muscle anymore. And that's because they're at a deficit. So in order to build muscle, you have to be slightly above your maintenance calories and you wanna be at a surplus. And that's generally where you want your body to be in terms of building any type of muscle. One gram per pound of body weight of protein. So me, for example, I'm 200 pounds. So I take around 200 grams of protein per day from my food. And that's not considering the calories from my carbs or my fat. That's on another video. Just to keep this simple, make sure you're getting enough protein. One gram per pound of body weight. That's, that's just a quick rule of thumb. I hope that made sense, guys. That's my quick three tips for getting a bigger and fuller chest. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped. If you guys have any questions, let me know, comment down below. And I'm actually a certified nutritionist, sports nutritionist, actually. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me or even message me on Instagram if you have me. It's jeffkidding on Instagram.com or Instagram app. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I hope I see you guys in the next video. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys are new to the whole weightlifting game or weight loss game, <laughs> again, I am literally hit me up and I'm here for you guys. I hope I see you guys in the next one. God bless you, have a good one. And if you're interested in watching me stuff my face and so 2,100 calories, I'm gonna fit that calories in, guys. I'm gonna try my best to, to make that fit while eating, eating at a bar. Hey, I don't know if it's a bar or a, a grill. I'm eating at a grill, guys. So next clip is food. I'll see you guys there.